Hello guys, welcome to our channel Code Library. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified when we upload our new videos. So, without wasting any time, let's start our video. So, in this video, we will be talking about the 8th question of the DSS sheet. The question is, find the largest sum contiguous subarray. So, this is a very important question. So, first of all, I will explain you what is subarray. Subarray means to select the contiguous element of an array. Like, we have in here array 7, 5, minus 13, 5, 10, minus 2 and 5. So, if we will select 7 and 5, this will form a subarray. If we will select 7, 5, minus 13, this will form a subarray. If we will take first four elements, this will form a subarray. If we will take in the middle from minus 13 to 10, it will also form one subarray. From 10 to 5, it will form a subarray. So this is called a subarray. And here we have to find the maximum sum contiguous subarray. So we have here three approaches. And I will discuss all three approaches. In the first approach is a simple brute force approach and it has a time complexity of O of n cube. So, so in the first approach what we will do, we will take all the subarray and we will compute the sum of the each subarray and we will uh, make the maximum of that sum. So we will take one variable max. Okay. So how we will take all the subarray? First of all we will iterate a loop from 1 to n. I am taking the one base indexing. Okay. After that we will run a loop from j equals to i. To n and from i to j it will make one subarray so after that we will again run a loop and we will compute the sum from i to j and after computing that sum we will update the sum with the maximum sum we will check whether that sum is greater than max so we update the max element okay so in this way we will compute the maximum sub subarray this approach i will show you the code so I have taken a n, I have taken the input array. So what I will do, I will take one max variable. I will take it int mean. Because element because the maximum value can be negative also if all the element of the array will be negative. So first of all I will run a loop from i equals to 1, i less than equals to n, i plus plus. After that, I will run a loop from j equals to i, j less than equal to n, j plus plus. I will take one sum variable equal to 0 and I will ca count the sum from i to j. Okay. And what I will do? Sum equal to sum plus array of k. And after the for loop, we got here the sum of one sub array. So I will update the value of maxi max. So what I will check if the max is greater than sorry if sum is greater than max. If if it's if it true, then we will update max equal to sum. And after we compute this, we will simply print the max. So if I will run, so for this example, sorry I missed the semicolon, if I run our code, so we will get 18, yeah. So which subarray we have taken? We have taken this subarray. So sum is 5 plus 10, 15 minus 2, it's 13 plus 5, 18. So this is our maximum subarray here. So but the here, this approach is o of n cube so what we can do to reduce our approach because in the interview interview they will ask to reduce the time complexity so we can do this in optimal way we can do this in o of n square also so how we will do this i will explain you so what i will do I will do the same thing as before that I will take the all the subarray but for calculating the sum of the particular subarray we will make one prefix sum prefix sum subarray sorry prefix sum array so what will what the prefix sum array will contain I will show you it will contain like the first it will be 7 after it we will add the 5 to previous element it will become 12 
after that we will add 13 to previous element so it will become minus 1 after we will add 5 to previous element it will become 4 after that 10 plus 4 14 14 minus 2 12 12 plus 5 17 so this is our prefix sum sub array okay so, so what we will do we can see that we have to find the sum from i to j so simply we can get the sum from the prefix sum sub array like if we want to uh, find and here it, it will this is one base indexing so in the zero base indexing we will be having zero so what we will do if we have to find the sum from i to j so we will simply write prefix sum sub array of j minus prefix sum sub array of i minus 1 this will give us sum of from i to j in o of 1 complexity so here we simply see that here we are getting complexity of o of n square so for this i will show you the code i will remove this and first of all i will make one prefix sum sub array prefix of n plus 1 i will keep the prefix of 0 as 0 and i will run a loop from i equals to 1 i less than equals to an i plus plus and prefix of i is equals to prefix of i minus 1 plus array of i so here we have computed the prefix sum sub array sorry prefix sum of a array okay so here we will simply write int s equals to pre of j minus pre of i minus 1 so it will give the sum from i to jth element in o of 1 time complexity and simply we will check if the sum is greater than max we will update the max equal to sum and here we have printed so if we run our code we will get the same output as 18 so we can see that we have got output 18 and in this we are having the time complexity of o of o of n square okay so now we can also optimize this code to o of n solution because it will again ask you to optimize more to o of n okay so here we can see that we have also taken the space of o of n and uh, but interval will ask you to optimize it to o of one space so for that here is one algorithm known as cadence algorithm in this we can find the maximum sum sub array in o of n time complexity and o of one space so what is the idea of the cadence algorithm is that first i will remove this so in this approach what we will do we will take two variables the max variable and max till here so i have written max th that max till here so the idea is in every iteration we will add the value of the array into the max till here variable and we will compare that variable with the max max variable if max is greater than max till here we will update the max and after we will check whether the max till here is negative if it is negative then it can't be the maximum sum sub array so we will update that value to zero so i will do a dry run check here so what first of all the value of max till here will be 7 because we will add 7 to 8 okay and i will check whether the max till here is greater than max if it's true then we will update the max with max till here so we can see that 7 is greater than int mean so we'll update the max with 7 now in the next iteration we will add 5 to our max till here so it will become 7 plus 5 12 then you will check whether 12 is greater than 7 yeah it's true we'll update the max with 12 after that we will add minus 13 to max till here so it will update to minus 1 so we will check whether minus 1 is greater than 12 it's false so we will not update the max and we 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 have we check that if minus 1 is negative it's true then we will update the max till here to 0 after that we will add 5 to our max till here value then it will become 5 we will check whether 5 is greater than 12 it's false we will not update and it's also not negative then after that we will update the value with 10 so we'll add 10 to 5 so it will become 15 so we will check whether 15 is greater than 12 yeah it's true then we will update it to 15 
after that we will add minus 2 to 15 so it will become 13 so we will check that 13 is greater than 15 it's false we will not update this value and it's also not negative so we will not make this 0 then we will add 5 so what will become 18 so we will check whether 18 is greater than 15 if it and it's true then we'll update the max with 18 and after that we, we have seen that the iteration is over so we can see that in the maximum value the max variable we can see the 18 is our answer so here our answer is 18 so i will code for this so i will take two variable first of all max as a int mean and max till here as 0 I will run a loop from i is equals to 1 i less than equals to n i plus plus first of all I will update the max till here is equals to max till here plus array of i I will check if max till here is greater than max if it's true then I will update it with max till here we will also check if max till here is negative if it's true we will update it to 0 simple I will simply print the max value and I will remove this 18 from here and I will run a code so it will return 18 only yeah we can see that we have got the 18 so for this our solution runs in O of n time complexity and O of O of 1 space so we can see that we have optimized our solution from O of n cube to n square and after that we have optimized O of n time complexity and O of 1 space. So like this you have to you also have to say this in the interview if someone asks you in the interview like this you have to explain them from the brute force solution to the optimized solution. So here I have explained you everything about this solution. So okay so we will meet in the next video until then bye bye if you have not subscribed to our channel please subscribe also like and share thank you bye bye